40 Dartboard Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this little 4D dartboard. And this dartboard is actually the one and only way I will ever get a bullseye in darts. Or a bullseye in anything. I have terrible aim when throwing. Absolutely dreadful. Worst person you're ever going to meet. That being said, this way, because it's got a magnet in it, it's going to get right in the center every single time without fail, which is fantastic, especially if you are like me and are aim impaired. So as I'm doing that, I'm also going to be reviewing this lamp, which I just received. And this lamp is actually, I am super impressed by it. First off, this is magnetic. The little base is magnetic, which means that you can remove this for projects that you don't want it. So if you're working on like a really big 3D piece and you need extra height in your lamp, you can just pop this piece off and stick it in there. Amazing. The other thing, pedicures, if you're doing gel polish on a pedicure, this is perfect for that. And there are just, there have been so many circumstances where I have been really frustrated that I can't get something to fit in my lamp. Or there have been times when I've done a whole bunch of nails and I'm trying to like squeeze them all in and it hasn't just... So anyways, this is so nice. Plus, I'm trying to figure out a way to use the fact that this is magnetic to hold my nail pieces in place while they're curing. I'm still working on that part, but it does actually work for this dartboard really well to hold up the dart. So you will see that in a moment as well because that worked out perfectly. That's the first time that, you know... So anyways, I like this lamp. You'll see a little bit more of this and I'll do an unboxing and more thoughts on it in a moment. And enjoy the video and don't forget to click subscribe to my future videos as well. So here it is in the box and I'm just, it's a relatively standard box. I'm just going to take it out and inside the box you have the lamps just right away that you see that. And there was also a nail file in there. It was a 100, 150 grit as well as an instruction manual, which pretty much didn't have much for instructions in it. It was how to turn it on, what buttons to push. So you have, I mean, if you, it's a lamp, it's pretty self-explanatory. So then there is the lamp itself and there's that little magnetic piece. I know you couldn't really see what I was saying in the intro, but that bottom just pops right off. And then here's the buttons. There's a 30 second, a 60 second, and then a 99 second low heat option as well. And then here is the cord for it. It's an actually a really nice long cord, which is convenient if you aren't super close to an outlet. So then as far as the lamp goes, you can stick your hand in and it will start as well. And then you'll get a counting, a, a a, um, a timer that counts up and otherwise you can press the buttons and then it counts down. So to start the nail, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place that magnet right in the center of the nail with a little bit of white acrylic. And then after that's set enough that I know that it won't move around on me, I'm going to go ahead and do an overlay over the entire nail with some more white acrylic, just making sure that it's nice and covered. And if your magnet does show, if you, if your white acrylic isn't opaque enough and it peeks out that is fine and actually you could do this with clear acrylic as well if you'd prefer that um, because I'm going to be painting the entire nail nothing none of this white is going to show through I do like having a white base underneath it however because it does make the other colors seem a little bit brighter and a little bit more intense and you might need fewer coats than if it was clear just to make sure that none of your actual nail shows through so that's something to bear in mind but the white is optional. And then after I have that white in there, I did go through and add clear on top of it. I like to add clear on top of all my nails just to add the strength element and to make sure that my apex is nice and curved and in place and going to make this nail very durable. Just like that. And making sure it's all nice and perfect. And then after I have that clear acrylic on and it's all set, I'm going to go through and I'm just going to be filing this nail into shape with my e-file. And I know that this that the lamp came with a, a file to to use i didn't i didn't use it at the time i don't know why i probably should have you know finished off the review i have used that light though or the file and it's it's fine you know so now on a nail form backing i'm going to be creating the dart and i'm going to be adding the oh now what are they called you know the little things on the back of the dart yeah it'll come to me in a second and so first i create a pointed end long shape sort of like a two triangles that got stuck together with a little bit of a space between them so then i'm just going to after that's in there i'm going to put a piece of wire in between them and then 
sort of partially folded. I overfolded mine so that they weren't even later on. You just want to fold it up around that wire just a little bit so it kind of it'll attach to the wire nicely. And try to keep that as nice um, as tight of a crease as you can. This is with black acrylic. And then also in a nail form backing I'm going to sculpt another triangle the same size as the other ones. This one doesn't have to be as long at the back if that makes sense so it can be a little bit smaller. Um, but the same height, the same that way. So then after those are all set and you can take them off the nail form backing, put a little bit of black acrylic on the piece that's on the wire, pick up the other one, that last triangle, and set it in there and hold it and make sure that it stays in the right spot until it's set enough that it's not going to move. So if you have a option of what kind of monomer you're using, I would definitely use a fast set for attaching this piece because otherwise you might be holding it for longer than you would really like to. So now I'm going to be placing a magnet over the magnets in the nail and attaching my little wire dart to the magnet that is on top of the nail, just like that. So don't glue the magnet to the nail, just glue the wire to the magnet. So I kind of spoke over this part here, but you're gonna to wanna to take the magnet that's on the dart and dip it into some black paint and then let the magnet attach itself to the magnet in the nail. That's gonna give you that center point to base the rest of your dartboard off. Then intersect that dot that you created with your magnet into eight equal sections. So you're gonna just cross it in one direction, cross another direction, keep going back and forth. And then after you have those eight in place and they look even, go ahead and split those eight in half each. And so just keep adding those lines until you have all these teeny tiny little triangles. And if you keep doing it in half and half and half and half, they should be even. Then you're gonna wanna make sure that you fill in every other section with black paint. So you're gonna wanna have half of them white and half of them black. And if any of your lines were a little bit wacky when you were just creating them before, you can definitely try to fix them up at this point. But I am also going to be adding some white paint in all of the white sections. So if they get messed up at this point, even if they were fine before, you can fix them then. So I'm just filling those in and I really sped this up because it, it took way longer than anybody really wants to watch me just paint little black triangles. And then I'm going to be filling in these sections between the black with white, as I said. And at this point, this would be optional. You would obviously be able to skip this part if you didn't have anything to fix up if you have that white acrylic underneath and depending on your white acrylic the white acrylic that i'm using is slightly less white than my white paint and if i really want things to be bright 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 white i'm going to be adding white paint on top of them anyway just because it looks a little bit more intense and more vivid so I'm just going through with all those and adding them in between and try to extend your little white triangles all the way to that center circle that we created with the magnet in the beginning. Just try to bring them all the way in. And so then I'm going to be adding circles. So I'm gonna first circle that middle uh, dot that we had with the magnet and then I'm going to be adding one that's a little bit out from that, not too far, and then one that is just below the edge of the nail or just I guess it wouldn't be below it'd be a below and above and to the side but just in from the edge of the nail from that point I'm going to go through and right around the edge of the nail I'm going to be filling in a black line I'm going to be outlining the nail since you do have those black triangles you don't really have to outline the entire nail just the sections that are currently white so just fill those in and create a nice little border around that just like that. And then I'm also gonna just touch up anything else that needs it. And then within the black triangles, so anywhere that there's black, you're gonna wanna fill that in with red within those little stripes there. So you're just gonna go and fill in those sections with red. Try to keep it contained within the black area and not extend it past into the white area. If it does a little bit as mine has, you can fix it up with your green. And depending on how pigmented your green is, it might be easier than other times, but even if it's just a touch, it's not gonna no be noticeable anyway. And then all of the white sections, I'm going to be adding a little bit of green. So you're creating a green stripe or a green and red dashed stripe going around the nail twice, two of these green and red dashed stripes going around. That's hard to say, green and red dashed stripes give it a go. And so then there's that one in the center there. And then also that little circle that we created around the center dot is also going to be green and then filling in the center dot with red. After that nail is all done, I'm going to be applying a layer of gel sealer and throwing that into the lamp to cure. So with this light, even though it does have that thing where you can just stick your hand in, the little uh, brush that I keep my nails on, it doesn't see that. It's not quite as... It's not big enough for it to be noticed, so you do have to press the buttons, but that's the nice thing because you have the option to just put your hand in or to press the buttons, so you have a lot more freedom to use what is gonna be the most beneficial in that particular circumstance. And then on the dart, I'm going to be outlining the edges of the, you know, that end part with red paint, and then I'm going to be painting over all of that with some gel sealer. So I have a little bit of gold acrylic around by the magnet. And now while that gel sealer wet, I'm just gonna grab it with tweezers and then set that on the magnet that's in the bottom of the light. 
and it's going to hold it there and it's going to cure really, really easy, which is so nice because otherwise you got to try to figure out how to keep it upright without messing up your gel sealer and without touching your gel sealer. So that was fantastic. And here is the finished nail. Like I said, if you are throwing challenged like I am, you will probably get a kick out of this just because you will actually get it in the center each time. I hope you like it and don't forget to share recreations with me on Facebook and Instagram and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!